Happy Halloween, everyone, or rather, happy day after Halloween if I post this on the first, so apologies for that crap introduction. So I'm just going to recap what's been going on over the past month, just in case you missed anything, or if there's anything else that I need to tell you that you missed. You've missed things. Okay, so the probably the biggest thing that happened this month was getting the Oculus Rift. Here she is. Here she is in all her glory. And look, you can even see inside. Ooh. Anyway, I've had a really, really good time with this thing. Um, it's just incredible. Some of the stuff people have come out with for the for the Oculus Rift. I'll be doing lots of horror games on it very soon, but for now, it's still... I'm getting my legs, you know. It's still very real, very scary, so I'm just, just easing myself into virtual reality before I do too much of the really scary horror. But, as it's Halloween, I'll probably try and record one this weekend. And of course, I have to say thank you to everyone who helped participate in getting me this Oculus Rift. I can't tell you how wonderful it is. Thank you so much. So, what have I played this month? Well, I finished off Dead Space 2, as you saw at the start of this month. Great game, really enjoyed it, um, but it was starting to get a bit repetitive and dull, uh, so I'm glad it's over, but also I really enjoyed it. If you missed any of it, go back and have a watch. It's a great series, and so is the original Dead Space series. Of course, the main game this month has been Alien Isolation. Uh, I was kindly gifted to me um, by Killer Twist, and I've been really, really, really enjoying it. It's been so much fun. Um, I also tried it with the Oculus Rift. It's really quite fun in the Rift as well. Uh, very, very scary, very real, but also an excellent uh, rendition of what should be done uh, with the Rift for, for, for games like that. Um, I had a lot of people actually talk about the Oculus Rift version of Alien, saying that they really didn't like it. And I was surprised, because I thought lots more people would really like it, but it seems to be a bit of a split. There are lots of people on the latest video that doesn't have it, saying, Oh, why did you stop with the Oculus? I was expecting more. And lots of people on the Oculus video saying, No, I prefer it without. But thank you everyone for your feed... I keep hitting the microphone, sorry. Thank you everyone for your feedback. It really is helpful, because it lets me know what you want and what you don't want. And I think the consensus is, people want to see me play Alien Isolation all the way through, full screen, no real cuts or anything, and not on the Oculus. Because whereas it's amazing for me, it's not quite so great for you guys. And I'm fine with that. I'm going to carry on playing normally, because it is a hassle to set up the Oculus, and as you saw, I lost a bit of footage. So, from now on, it's going to be the rest of the game without the Oculus. However, for those of you who like the Oculus Alien, Alioculus, Alien Isoculus, Alien Oculation, yeah. The Rift, I think, will come in useful when I want to go back to scary missions or something and just replay them for you. So you can see my reactions with the Rift, but you've already seen that story, so you don't need to worry about missing anything or it being a bit too small. Again, with the small thing, um, all that records is two versions of pretty much the same picture. So I don't like having two of the same thing going on. I think it's very distracting. So I just make my face really big, because who loves my face? Everyone. And the game I keep on the left-hand side. Left. Um, the only thing about that, obviously, is it means that it's quite small. What I'm going to try and do in future is just bring it up a little bit. I don't want to stretch it, because I don't like things being out of proportion. But I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, and then that way it will... Uh, crop off the top and bottom a little bit, but you'll still be able to see the main bits rather than all the peripheral nonsense which no one cares about. So that will help everyone involved. But, as I say, no alien isolation of the Rift until I've finished it, and then I'll go back and do the odd mission or two. So, there are more games to come. Um, I'm a long way through... well, I'm about a third of the way through Alien Isolation, I think, maybe a bit further. Um, when I'm much further, or if I feel I need a break, or indeed if I finish it quickly, um, I'm going to be playing The Evil Within. Lots of people have asked me to play it, and of course it was gifted to me by uh, Jared last, uh, last month, so thank you, and I will definitely be playing it, don't worry, but I still work full-time, I'm in the process of moving house, there's a hell of a lot going on in life at the moment, so I I'm, I'm really having to stick to one series at a time and still bring out a couple of odd Oculus Rift videos or just random indie games in the meantime, just to give you some variety. So I will be playing with The Evil Within. Lots of people have been asking me about Skyrim. Uh, Skyrim, obviously, again, really busy, really busy. Lots of games that have just been gifted to me, lots of things to play on the Rift. I can't play Skyrim at the moment. I love Skyrim. It's definitely coming back. It will either be a bit closer to Christmas when life has settled down a bit, or it might be after Christmas. But fear not, you will have Skyrim back, those of you who love it, because I love it as well. Don't worry. 
As I said, there will be more Rift games, like the really scary ones, because uh, there are plenty of them, but it's very, very hard to play them because they are so scary, and it really does take it out of you. I can't explain how how terrifying it can be. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I feel comfortable with the Rift before I really start recording the properly scary ones, as I've already just said this video, so whatever. Right then, to the donations. Some people have really, really, really kindly donated me uh, some money this month. As I always say, I plan for things to buy. I'll tell you the sort of things I'm going to buy with the donation money for Storpy um, when it comes around. Um, anyway, donations. Um, Anthadlas, or James, has sent some money saying, Cheers, Storpy, for all the entertainment you bring to me. I've watched your channel since your first fear vid fear vid and decided it's about time i give you something in return for all the enjoyment you've provided me plus once you start using your oculus rift you will probably need to buy a new black market heart or something to replace yours yeah basically so uh, you know pay for my therapy please <laughs> so thank you so much uh, dylan simpson also donated jean paul jean paul jean claude poule also donated uh, mario packhazer or packhazer Packhazer, whatever, your name's Mario, that wins. Uh, also donated. Um, Kate Bowen, thank you so much, Kate Bowen, uh, for donating. Um, Zach, Gr oh God, Zach Grzelowski, Grzelowski, I don't know, I, it looks like, a, I think it's a Polish name, I can't pronounce that shit. I can't pronounce that shit. Sorry, Zach. But I'll call you Zach, that's fine. And he said, hey man, appreciate you a lot and don't have much to give, but buy yourself a sandwich or something. Peace. Thank you, Zach. That's really kind of you. Um, I didn't buy a sandwich with it. It's going into the Storpy Pot and you will help me buy all the things I'm about to talk to you about because they really do help. The things that I'm buying with this money, I need to get a second monitor. I've been blabbing on about this for ages. I'm not going to buy it until I move into my new flat, um, which I will talk about very shortly, um, because obviously I'll have to you know, set it up and then take it down and move it and everything, so that's pointless. However, I have bought, with your kind donation money, if I can get it oh, through the microphone gap, I've bought a new pair of headphones. Now these, you've probably feature already, uh, seen feature already, a, uh, they are, I don't know if you can see that, they are the Medusa, what are they? Speedlink Medusa NX 5.1 surround sound headset. Now a lot of people say, oh, oh, so comfortable. And the sound quality is really good as well. Lots of people say that they don't think surround sound works in headphones. They think it's a gimmick. It's not. It does work. It's not as good as having 5.1 surround speakers, but you can really tell. With these anyway, you can really tell that there's something behind you. Um, and it works beautifully in Alien Isolation. So you guys have helped me get these because I'd needed new headphones for a long time, some proper gaming headphones. And it's even got a nice little microphone there as well, just in case it's needed. So thank you so much. I wouldn't have been able to get these without you. And I love them. And they're really helping. <laughs> they're helping me make better videos because they f make me feel more like I'm there. Let me tell you that for a fact. Um, what else am I going to get? I need to get a new chair. This chair, um, as much as I thought I would like it at the time, I've actually discovered is shocking. Um, I bought this uh, a couple... It was about a year and a half ago. And it's, it's from Ikea, but you know... Um, it doesn't give very good back support at all. It's really horrible. Um, and so, and it's, ugh, it's just horrible. It's a crap chair. So I'm going to sell it. Um, well, I'll try and sell it. I might have to give it away, which is annoying because no one wants to buy things like this. Um, but there's a new chair that I would like to get. And it's the, oh God, why didn't I write it down? It's the GT Omega Pro Office Racing Chair or something like that. Like it, it it's built for like racing sim games, you know, arcade game kind of things, but it's also in an office chair version and it looks amazing. It's got brilliant lumbar back support, it's got good armrests, everything's fully adjustable and I'm going to get that when I move into the new flat as well. So, you know, your money is really, really helping. You're actually helping with my wrists and shoulders, so thank you so much. Um, also in the new flat, I'm going to be soundproofing. I need to not sound, yeah, I'm going to sound deadening um, the office where I'm going to be doing all my recording because it needs some soundproofing. It needs to deaden the sound because I love having a really nice crisp voice coming through 
Um, I keep hitting the microphone, that is, if I don't hit the microphone that is. I'm going to get some soundproofing foam for the walls and finally, uh, well not finally, I need a new mouse. Um, this mouse is fantastic and it's done me really well for years but it's not ergonomic. I need one of those penguin vertical mice type things. I use it at work and it's amazing and I don't game with a mouse anyway, it's only for editing that I'd be using it so it's not too cumbersome and I think that would really really help me. So I'm going to get one of those as well. And finally I'm looking into ways of getting a heart rate monitor working. I know people have done that before and lots of people are going to go, eh PewDiePie does it, it's not original. But I think it's fun. My heart does race when I'm in scary games so I'd love to give that a go and just try it out and see how it works. So I'm seeing if I can get one for free at the moment but if I can't get one for free or borrow one I'm just going to you know, buy a cheap one and see how it works and see if I can get that going because that would be quite cool I think. You've probably noticed the background music that's been going on throughout this video. Um, it's by one of my long-time fans, uh, Nadriant, or Nadriant, sorry, I, I, it's a word. It's, an, it's not a real word, is it, really? Um, Nadriant, he has really, really helped... Um, He's helped been he's just been so supportive all the way through and it's really, it's really helpful to have people people like that and he's you know he's contributed various different things to me both in the form of remixes and and all that kind of thing so it's it's really really kind of him and um and he's shared this with me and I really like it it's really nice sort of slightly chilled but also really interesting ambient kind of music um he's got a fantastic channel if you want to go and visit it the link's on the screen now and it's in the description as well um go and visit him uh, he's co always coming up with new content so check nedrin out fox gemini one of my viewers uh is doing something that scarlet did for me recently she is trying to raise the funds to get mac from max corner an oculus rift She's nearly done it. Um, she basically got the $350 needed, but as Scarlett told her, there are import fees and taxes and all that sort of shite to get it into England because, you know, why would we ever want things cheap in this country? So because there's all of that that she needs to pay for as well, um, she still needs a bit more to get there. So what we need is just for people to donate. Go and visit this video, the link to the donation is in the video and she just explains a bit more. Um, it will be so funny to get Mac and Oculus Rift, but also it will be really nice because he loves Elite Dangerous and it works beautifully with that and he definitely deserves a really nice Christmas present like that. So if you want, please don't feel that I'm saying, oh he needs your charity, because he doesn't, he doesn't need your charity. It's just a really nice gesture um, and I would love for him to be able to experience what I can experience with my Oculus. So. Thank you, if you can help. And this is finally, at the end of November, which is very soon actually now, 27, 26 days, I'm going to be moving house. Um, I'm going to be moving from this lovely flat here, where I've been for two and a half years, and I'm going to be moving in with Sparrow Muller. It's very, very exciting, and we can't wait to move in and just start our lives together there. Oh, it's so emotional, sentimental. Yeah, bear with me. But it means that I might not be able to get so much recording done over that sort of couple of weeks because there's a lot to think about and a lot to do when moving. So I will not be doing that much recording. Um, I will try and get quite a bit done beforehand, so hopefully you'll be able to have a video every day or every two days over that period. But just bear with me and know that I am okay and I am doing something amazing. So thank you so much for watching this video again. Um, those of you who have donated, thank you. Oh my god, I haven't even talked about the people who gave me the games. Um, some people... I've got a fly in here. Some people... Get away! You've made me hit my microphone yet again. That's going to clip so much. Bastards. Right, anyway. Um, people have gifted me games. Well, Zeppel, or Hepel or Zeppel, um, gifted me Alien vs. Predator Collection earlier this month. So thank you very much for that. Those are excellent games. I'm looking forward to working through that campaign again. It was really, really cool. Uh, Phil2244 got me Depths of Fear, Knossos. That looks like a really good game. I'm probably going to do things like that over Christmas, you know, get a load of little mini-series going and stuff like that, like I did last Christmas. Uh, Jared got me Silence of the Sleep, which is awesome of him. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to playing that as well. Um, all these games, again, as I say, I'm going to be doing closer to Christmas time so you can have a really nice big load of games, especially the slightly creepy scary ones. And finally, um, Hannah bought me Time Rifters. Now this is an Oculus Rift only game, you'll have the video very soon. 
It's incredible. She said, Hey Storpy, it isn't much, but I wanted to grab you something. Well, I can tell you, Hannah, it is much. I've already sunk over two hours into it, which is some, you know, something quite incredible. It works with a controller, it works with an Oculus beautifully, it's designed for it. And it's a sort of tower defence, but first person tower defence kind of game. It's, you need to see it. Watch my video on it, which will be going up soon. It is an amazing experience. So thank you for that. Um, games coming up. I don't know of any more games coming up. I am going to be, hopefully, I'm going to be either buying or getting for Christmas, um, or whatever, uh, Elite Dangerous when it comes out. Um, I don't want to pay £50 to get into the beta, because that's a bit too much money, but £35 for the actual game I think is worth it. So when it comes out, I'm going to get into that, and that's going to be my you know, my guilty pleasure, my relaxing, enjoyable MMO kind of sit down for an evening and just play kind of game. Um, I'm really looking forward to that, and that's that's for me. But I just wanted to, you know, if you haven't heard of Elite Dangerous, go and have a look for it. It's, it's looking to be quite a cool thing. So anyway, that's me done. Um, I'll shut up and leave you alone now, because these video logs are getting so much longer. So yeah, take heed of all that I have said, children, for thy time is coming. That's a bit creepy. Anyway, thank you for watching, and see you all next time. Bye-bye.